Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hogwarts. I present to you the Forbidden Forest. Let's go. Revelio. So last episode we went down in the little cave or whatever the heck you want to call it. And found out there were no pages down there that we need. Looks like there's a dark wizard. We found a couple of them on the way here and defeated them. Oh, come on. I really don't want to fight these guys. Incendio. Just up here. Something up here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm roping out of there. I'm definitely noping out of there. For now, anyways. Thinking in terms of clumsy little song. And I haven't even had You dare slay one of my own. You will fall to get Did I just Oh Revelio. Not sure what the point of that was, but now I should have got a collectible for that for killing ten or which challenges for killing ten. Yes.
it was just a uh, appearance change. I think it was. Level 12. Ooh, extraordinary. And I am at level 11. So I gotta get a new pair of gloves waiting for me whenever I uh, hit level up. Let's keep on moving along. Revelio. House emblem scarf. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek. Hmm. Not sure. But we're in a forbidden forest, so let's go. Nothing to do now but keep going. Lumos. Revelio. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. That's a wolf claw mark. And avoid that for now. We're here on a mission not to kill wolves or spiders. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Revelio! Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, ah! I'll bury you in the deepest 
La vie au sol. La vie au sol. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Anything else to collect? I guess not. That sounded ominous. By the way, did I level up with that? No. I wonder how big this place is. Oh, you pick them. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me do this. Incendio! Incendio Accio That goes there. I don't want to do that. Yet. So we got going the other way. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Probably. Levioso. Potato. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Akio.
Revelio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Accio! Let's go say hi to the, the pretty little spiders. And then we'll make our way back to the other door. Sure, symbol. Okay, well, let's go into gear. Work. Does it actually do anything? Oh wow! Plus twenty-one on defense. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Plus twenty-one on defense. I'm, I'm gonna take it. Minus four. Well, point two, twenty-four. Minus four. But you can apply traits to it. Plus 31 on defense. I need number 12. So that's, that'll be the gloves and the outfit once I hit 12. this way, right? Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. I have a feeling there's guys going to drop down behind me.
An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. You want to let me jump down? Okay, we'll go back. Anybody else getting the feeling that Mr. Jackdaw is lying to us? Revelio. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio. Now, I'm assuming it wants us to go that way, but I'm going to check this out first. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Interesting question, isn't it? Where could... Revelio. Not sure what it was that I just collected, but okay. Akio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Sight. Hmm. Looks like what they saw some gear. It's just store in there, right? But no magical properties, but its value is thirty.
as well help myself to this. Dark Arch Dueling Gloves. An untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. So noted, folks, you can only carry so much gear. Um, you can increase it by doing uh, Merlin's puzzles, which I did a couple off screen. But there it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. But make sure you sell your stuff. More spiders. These can't be what they're having with Jack. Oh dear God. I can only imagine how many spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Oh, that thing scared me when I seen it coming out of there. Whew. There's definitely a big no from me. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I'm 
I'll need to look around for the symbol. There's someone in the tunnel. I got no special abilities at the moment. Well, ancient magic finishing move. There's somebody there. I must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Doll. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Gears lots are full. Incendio. Oh no. Well, I got a surprise waiting for you. Levioso. Accio. Take this in the room of requirements, okay? I 
we've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? What is this place indeed? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You receive one talent point for each time you increase your wizarding level. You have a new talent point to spend in a talent menu in your field guide. Your talent points plus one starting at level five. You may spend the talent points as you wish to enhance your spells and increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose while the talent points may only be spent once, so the number of talent points you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talent awaits you. So, spells help you improve your spell casting. Talents increase your abilities with the dark arts. Overall effectiveness. Sneak around. Enhance your use of potions and combat plants. All right, let's check out spells first. Acquire enemies near a lev target levitated by Levioso are also levitated. Enemies near a target summoned by a courier also pull to you. Casting in, in Sundenda unleashes a ring of flame around you. That actually sounds interesting, but let's keep looking. Really almost has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Stupid fly has the same effect as a cursed enemies and cursed enemies take damage. Dealing damage to cursed targets inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Okay. Right level five. You must be able to cast Flunda to do that. Flunda has the same effect as a cursed enemies. 
Pressure may not have any longer. I mean, you control with, with Imperial Curse. Blood Tigers. Curse. Cur An enemy under your control with Imperio curses other targets with each successful strike. We show mastery strike an enemy cursed by Crucian releases a projectile that curses a nearby enemies. Slowing curse. Arrest of momentum has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Killing enemy with Avercadavera kills all cursed enemies. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Spell knowledge. A new spell set is added. That I'm definitely going to go for. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. Successful absorption. Successful Ortega blocks will contribute to the ancient magic meter. Putting down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. New spell set. Heal you to greater effect. I'll come back to that. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using. Reduced. Perfected toys. Eliminates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. Dearest potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks. For each shiny chomping cabbage thrown, a second chomping cabbage generated and released. The invisibility potion, undetectable effects last for longer. Maxima potion causes attacks to have additional increased damage and break enemy shields. The damage and duration of the incapacitating effect of mandrakes are increased. The range and damage of potions and effects increase. Uh, now let's go back to spells again. Um, Defender cast slices or impacted enemies to strike additional targets. Release an additional blast directed around you. Freedo impact boost finery bolts to seek enemies. Cool. Striking an enemy frozen by glacius blast damage shards outwards. A descender slam creates a damaging shock wave around your target. Um causing a post of blast with an area effect. Enemy struck with transformation spell transforming into exploding objects. So let's see. Um, I like the idea of casting the ring, which means pulling them towards me when I hit and hit them with a fire ring will cause more damage. I like the idea of the magic meter going up. Basic cast impacts reduces spells cools down. That'll be useful definitely.
Hmm. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarm enemy weapons. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this episode here. And off camera, I am going to go s sell all this loot that I have, all this gear that I have, get rid of out of my inventory. This is Fireman Dam. I'll see you guys next time on our next episode of Hogwarts.